Generic greetings and welcome to Tastemaker. Today's beverage is... That is a strawberry and cherry smoothie. Genuinely one of the nicest smoothies I've had in a long time. That is very, very delicious. Anyway, I digress. Tastemaker is essentially a restaurant tycoon. You have to build a restaurant literally from the ground up by placing in the walls, the flooring, etc. And then you'll have to build not only the front of house with a restaurant part, but also the kitchen and staff it and add ingredients and cutlery and that sort of thing. It's still in early access. This is version 0.1.0, .0 so the typical Lusk claims apply. It's not finished. There's going to be bugs and more stuff to add. Hopefully not bugs. Either way, I thought it would be nice to do a bit of a mini-series on it where we play through and just check out some of the scenarios. You can see there's a tutorial scenarios and sandbox modes. I've not, like I said, uh, this looks like there's fast food... Uh, I assume there's only these four maps, but we shall see. Either way, we'll start with fast food and just continue on and see how far we get. We might we might get the end, we might fail halfway there. We really don't know. It's the fun and finding out sort of scenario here. Either way, let's go ahead and go to new game and I'll check out the scenario. As I said, I'm very inexperienced with the game, so it'll be a bit of a learning thing as well. So anyway, this is fast food. Serve unhealthy food fast, apparently. In terms of the UI, we'll have a quick rundown here. Let's just pause it for a moment. Top left, we have our satisfaction, which is based on a lot of things like menu variety, price, decor, etc., which we'll check out later on as we build. We've got the cash that we currently have. Currently, that is 2,250 generic units of currency. We have, I think that's our staff, or might be customers though. Uh, we have the time and date. And we have all of the ingredients that we had in have in. So it's, uh, I believe, potatoes, flour, tomatoes, steak, chicken, wine. We have, di uh, I was going to say cutlery, but I meant... Um yeah, it's, you've got like plates and wine glasses, etc., and bowls on the right. Building options down below, as well as options for our um, serving. We have deco overlays to see how good something looks, same as hygiene, and we can build multiple layers as well. It's only, um, as far as I can tell, a couple of layers, and then time controls. Our objectives are currently set into three stars. We are going to try to go for all three, but I will settle for a medium, so the two star rating. So easy is serve 200 coins worth of fries in a month, medium is serve 400 coins worth of fries and nuggets in a month and then hard is have a waiting time lower than 30 seconds with 20 people in the restaurant so let's just try for the easy mode so we're going to go over to building and to the walls and we will build along here now the thing is at the moment you can see we've only got a limited place to build we've got this bit here now what i'm going to do is preemptively just buy some more land because it doesn't cost a, a massive amount to uh, buy that and then obviously the walls though that probably will but there you go we're still up to what we on uh 1674 i'm going to go over to buying and we'll put a door in the front and then we'll also put a staff door in the back there as well we will have actually can i just can i move that staff door can I just delete it? I can delete... No, I've just deleted the wall as well. So I'll probably want to put that wall back in. And we'll have a staff door, I think, either side, just in case. Hmm. Staff door either side. Will that work? Well, it will work, but is there any reason for it? Um, I think we are best on putting one in just the... Yeah, there. And then I'll put another one there later on but I think it'll be further along because I'm going to probably expand the restaurant anyway over to windows as well and I'm going to place one window there one there and this will obviously get some light in although to be fair it doesn't seem to be any in at the moment and we're going to place a it'd be nice if there was a bigger window like a double window but that should suffice there we go and we'll have some in the kitchen as well because staff are allowed to see daylight although <laughs> i'm sure some uh, places will disagree i'm actually going to move that window can i move that window i thought i could i thought i'd be able to move it can i just right click it looks like i cannot so i'm gonna have to delete the whole wall there might be a way of doing it but i'm uh, not aware still enough money hopefully to finish this off i'm hopefully i'm not overdoing this thing but there we go there's all of that in and i guess we need somewhere to serve uh, serve different people so we could just go for a bar right across that so we could go for example bar counter and then place a bar counter right along there i am of the opinion though that we should probably put in some tables we have different types of tables you can see we've got fancy tables, normal tables, there's a metal one, and there's an old table, which is just, <laughs> it looks like a pallet with uh, four 2b4s on the bottom. We're probably going to go with this table and have, I guess, if we put them there, we can have like four places around it. 
Mm, actually, what I'm going to do instead is have one there and one in there. And then we can put chairs along like so and then rotate that. And I'm not going to place any more because I really want to get at least... Uh, some ways to, you know, serve customers. There's a fryer. We also need a cabinet as well and storage. Storage I'm going to put in this corner here, like so. So there's our storage. We need, let's say, a way to prepare them. So you take the meals, or the ingredients from the cupboard here. They'll then be moved over to the cabinet where they will be prepared because you need a chopping block then they'll be fried and then they'll be out the door and then you also need to clean your dishes i will place the i'll place the dishwasher uh, i'm probably going to regret placing it in that corner but i'll place it in there for now okay but that's the very basics i think that's enough to start to serve customers so over to our ingredients here oh sorry this is a tableware so plates i'm going to order in uh, I can order on in seven and store them in there. So I'm going to order in the seven. That should be fine. If we unpause it, you can see delivery slowly goes up. I'll go for our ingredients and I'm going to order in probably eight. I guess how many? How many can you store on each shelf? I think each shelf, each shelf can store. I think you can have six on each one. I'm going to go for twelve then. And set that to repeat. You can see I can't order in flour and tomatoes, but I can't order in chicken because you need a refrigerator. I like that it doesn't allow you to order in. It just tells you what you've uh, got there. It says, no, you can't do that. Let's hire an employee like that. And I don't like that you're holding them by the neck. Anyway, we'll place them down. And, oh, here's a delivery person coming in. They are going to deliver the tableware. There's the tableware. I don't know if their tableware gets damaged or smashed. I really don't know. And you've also got priorities as well. Doesn't look like any... Um, any employee is particular, like, is better or worse in any way for uh, what they do. But there you are. Um, I'm going to go with probably some nice deco items. I'm going to place some curtains in like so. Uh, they are, ooh, they're quite expensive at 40 each. But I think it's worth it because that's going to increase our deco. And we also haven't got any music. So I'm going to place a... I'm going to place a gramophone in. Do you want to place a gramophone? Um, I would very much like a fish tank, actually. But I don't think I can get a fish tank in. Oh, there's flowers on the tables as well. Let's do that. That's nice. There we go. As you can see, very minimalist. Uh, limited colour palette. Almost like a retro type palette. But I do like it. I do like it. Um, and here's some more ingredients coming in. So as soon as these ingredients are in, we should be able to add... Oh, there you go. So they are storing, yes, six on each one. So that's fine. So let's go ahead and say fries, and I'm going to add to the menu. There's the price there. It shows you what you need for said fries. So we have... We need a fryer and a chopping board, and the ingredients... That's our equipment. The ingredients are potatoes, and other, we need a plate. So there we go. I will hire another employee, and there we go. And we have two employees and one customer. The customer is sitting there and you can see they are currently waiting. They're currently happy as well, which is, well, I'm glad that's the case. So there you go. I can't click on the customer, but you can see they're happy and they're waiting for fries. And there's their fries. So they are now tucking in to some lovely, nutritious fried spuds. All right, let's have a quick look and we can see that our happiness has gone up a little bit. Hygiene is, hygiene is good. Bladder is good, but we don't have a toilet. We'll have to build one eventually. And I guess, uh, what's the other options? Um, what's this? Expensive staff wages. That's not telling us. Um, that is amount we make yeah there's a lot of this that'll just change as the uh, months pass over but deco is mediocre you see deco overview is oh it's okay in the back here they don't really like the look of the fryer and the dishwasher and that's fair that's understandable i guess but uh, they don't see that and this is a staff door so they can't go through that hopefully anyway we are now preparing so this is good we can see there's some people coming in and they now oh they're all sitting so we should probably build some more I'm I'm a bit hesitant to build the problem is that at the moment where they where they are you can't really get to those tables very easily if I place another one here in fact I'm going to have to most likely have I'm going to have to stagger the tables hmm yeah, because at the moment, if I place one there and put one either side it's going to be quite difficult so what if I have 
they're like, they're okay, them tables. I think we're fine with those. But what if I place tables? Oh, I can't afford that table. Right. I was going to place tables along the middle and then we'll have seating and seating. It's like quite a large area. I'll tell you what. I'll move these to the end like that. And then I'll move that in the back just for now. <laughs> out of the way of customers <laughs> so they can't see what's going on um i need more chairs i do need more chairs because we got we start we've got a queue we actually have a couple of people waiting and i'm guessing they won't wait forever so i best get some more chairs in that was oh good grief uh so expenses <laughs> have all oh, right okay we're, we're hiring we have got far too much spuds uh let me go for potato i was going to half i'm gonna actually reduce it to two potatoes because look at that we've got loads of them i've just i've just got too much stuff ordered in you can see the uh, customers do leave their plates and we have to obviously go in and pick them up put them in the dishwasher and also you've got dirt as well so there's your hygiene overlay it's actually a little bit dark around there to indicate that you know we've got a bit of a problem there but it looks like we have customers still waiting clean plate shortage well we shouldn't have because the dishwasher is now on um they just need to clean these plates the problem about being here is that sadly when that door swings open you're going to get hit in the face by it <laughs> but uh yeah i guess that's the least of our issues at the moment we're now on minus 10 so we're doing we're doing okay uh, <laughs> i don't know if we need to do any more you can see the fryer there it's a it's a two a two i was gonna say a two stage fryer i don't mean two stage it's a two what would you call those two basket fryer yeah Either way, we've got those in and loads of potatoes. I might even turn off our potato thing. And people are starting to line the road. Okay, this could get this could get dangerous very quickly. There's some more uh, deliveries, but you can see slowly this is going down, I think. At least they're preparing them from scratch. This isn't just fries, you know, frozen from the freezer and then just put them straight in straight into the fryer no messing around so john is currently delivering and robert is oh well, they're doing they're doing a bit of everything that's fine oh we now have enough money for another chair so I'll place one in and obviously someone's going to come in sit down and uh, get served there good this is working as intended i'm going to get another three chairs so we can get, you know all that going over let's have a quick check our total expenses are in the negative brilliant or oh, not net we're fine uh yeah that is all right long queues farming add more seats yes there is a long queue farming okay i will try to add more seats the problem is now going to be supply supply is currently being outstripped by demand we have a lot more demand so i need to get another fryer and probably some more plates because at the moment you can see we're waiting for this to fry. Let's place that in. And it doesn't matter if I'm getting more chairs. I just can't serve people because they are waiting. Although, it does seem to be, they seem to be getting through it okay. And obviously, as I get more people in, more money we're going to make. Uh, we've got... Yeah, no real priority set for any of these guys. They just... You can say set them to cooking, don't cook, or... Plus, it's basically... Don't care. <laughs> just do, that's all the same priority that's prioritize cooking don't do it at all or yeah uh go back to that oh easy we've done it serve 200 coins worth of fries in a month we got 210 out of 200 this is good all right let's probably go for a well, more chairs i think more chairs is the is the way forward for us at this stage and we'll get all all of these in it's a shame where that's going to go but it doesn't really matter we'll probably end up changing this as we expand the restaurant there we go there's more chairs so a long queue is forming but the problem being that it's not just the queue that's the issues yeah not enough fries to keep up with demand so the game is helpfully giving us these alerts so it's informing of forming us of what the deal is there the problem is a fryer is i believe a hundred uh fryer is a fryer is a hundred yes but with the amount of money we're getting i'm hopeful that we can quickly get another fryer i'm hopefully going to go for a, at least two fryers extra but obviously we need where to prepare as well i'm also when i'm going to expand the restaurant have to most likely build that i don't know why i stopped mid-sentence to take a drink of beverage but there you are 
yeah, I'm going to probably expand along here. I could actually build a way upstairs. That might be a way forward. I'm not really too sure. Either way, we're going to put it to max speed because there's nothing I can actually do at this stage. Um, considering the considering the way we're going through these at the moment. Uh, I'm actually going to have to turn on deliveries. Well, increase deliveries for potatoes now. I don't know how much we're going through, but I'm just keeping an eye on the shelf. Is there... Will there be an overlay? Um, it shows the amount and stuff, but no, nah, that's about it. Either way, we also need, I think, another counter. Because we've got eight places we can serve, but we've only got we've only got seven plates. So we're on a bit of a budget. Uh, we did literally buy curtains before we bought plates, which I think is a mistake that a lot of restaurant owners do make. Um, <laughs> It's going to cost us another 50 for the cabinet, another 50 for the cutting board, and then an unknown amount for the for the cutlery. So I'm going to get in at least that so I can then get some more cutlery in. So plates, I'm going to go for another seven. There you go. It's max, it's max that out. Yeah, so I'll just, I'll just max that because we're not selling wine or anything like that. Um, and I'm going to go for a cutting board. There we go. So cutting board's now in, and quite frankly, we are, I think, oh, ingredients shortage, really? Right, let's let's get some more ingredients then. I was going to hire another person. I think it would be worth it, and I mean, I'll have to hire again because I did accidentally fire someone. But there you go. There's two more people. Uh, there's <laughs> two back to uh, back to the two, and then up to the uh, up to the third, and. Dishwasher. We need more dishwasher. Let me get rid of that. Probably should have got rid of it a while ago. Get another dishwasher in. And look at that queue. The queue is massive. Okay. Um, not really too sure what I can do. Add more seats or increase your prices. I think we're going to increase our prices to 18. We're not going to be greedy. We're not going to be too greedy. Um, let's go ahead and add in the flowers there. Increase that decor. There we go. Costs money, but spending in the right place. I do want a jukebox as well. Actually, I would like a fish tank, but for 750 <laughs> it's a bit too expensive. So, is there any... What, what's the best way? Oh, have people just stopped coming now? Um, no, people are still coming. Oh no, some are, some are just passing. See, so if we have empty seats, it's probably best to just reduce our prices. Hmm. We shall see. People are still coming inside. The cars are brumming past as well. So, the question is, do we want to go either multi-story? Or do we want to go... And expand. There's the set of stairs there. I'd most likely shift. I'd shift this. And have the stairs up here. Have the stairs go along there. Is probably what I'll end up doing. Oh, that's 400 for the stairs. We also probably don't have... Yeah, you can see there's, we start getting some uh, bladder needs. Okay. What I'm going to do is... Move... Can I move these? Oh, I think I can move them, but it's probably going to really annoy them. <laughs> Is there a way we can close the restaurant while we do an overhaul? There may be. There may be a way. Um, but obviously we need to expand as well. I'll tell you what. I'll go for a... Do you want to look at maybe fridges? If I get a higher fridge, <laughs> it's a buying fridge, we're not hiring it. Um, the problem with that, I don't know. How much is a jukebox? 250 That might be worth it. Get a bit of music on the go. No, I think I'm getting distracted of all the, all the shiny things. Huh. Okay. I've now got medium. <laughs> Serve 400 coins worth of fries and nuggets in a month. I'm not serving any nuggets. But because I'm s selling a lot of fries, <laughs> we 
were doing quite well on that front. Have a waiting time lower than 30 seconds with 20 people in the restaurant. Right, well, we've only got 8 people in the restaurant, so we'll get nowhere near that. That's going to be the hardest one to achieve, I think. Okay, I'm going to preemptively shift all this then. So, apologies for the person that's just went on the bottom. Um, a queue is forming. Yeah, yeah, a queue is forming. I'm aware, I'm aware. I guess we can go for another table. Move that there. Move that over there. And this can get shifted as well, just out of the way. Because I want to have a... A toilet in here and maybe a stairwell let's go ahead and move that yeah I'm gonna have to get rid of that from putting a the toilet there <laughs> we shall see um, let's check out the toilets first I guess I want to put doors on it on oh, you've also got slot machines which is curious Anyway, I want at least that wide. There we are. And I'll just get rid of that. I'll also get rid of that and that because I want to put the walls back in. I'm going to expand this side, but I'll put the very basics in first. Can we hide the walls? Doesn't seem to be aware. Got a new review. Restaurant is alright, nice and clean. That's from Alice. Jenny, uh, Jenny. restaurant is alright, nice and clean. Brent, restaurant is alright, decoration is good. Cynthia, like the restaurant, decoration is good, but the menu could be improved. Yep, yeah, I agree with a lot of those. A lot of those. Um, right, this actually, ha this, ha this has to be a bit bigger than it is. This toilet. Because of the need to put a wall in. Oh no! Yeah, it does. It does. It does. It does. Um, I could then do a bit. Do a bit different. I can put that there. Right. What I'll do. I was going to have like a, a toilet with multiple cubicles in. I'm not going to do that. I'll block that off. Seems to be a bit strange. I know. But I'll then place in the toilet in here, followed by a sink, like that. And then the way in, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's more, that's more um, reasonable, I think. That's more reasonable. And there we go. So we have toilet, we have toilet facilities. Uh, we also have... I think they need to hire another employee for a start. And that's a big queue forming. I think we can potentially put our prices up just a little bit. We're being greedy now. 25% price hike is, well, yeah, it's a bit excessive. That is standing. I don't like the way it's just freestanding like that. I'm not a big fan of that. I'm um, also going to rotate that round. I think that's right. Just zoom in. Nope, that's wrong. There we go. So the toilet's in there. You don't have to designate any area. Let's see. Seems to be alright. Price people are not happy about. I can un Oh, look at that. Yeah, the price is far too high. People have just... People have just stopped arriving. So <laughs> I bet the review is saying menu could be improved. Okay, fine. Right, let's think about expansion then. So I'm going to go for building. And to our, uh, that's path, I want to buy land. And I want to buy basically all of this land. And I want to increase the size of our kitchen, like that. Alright. Walls. There's that. I'll delete all of that. And I'll start shifting things. Um... Storage can go at the back. Like so. Prep can go on this side. And dishwashers on the back wall. 
I don't know if that's a good idea, but that's the way we've done it for now. We can always shift this if need be. And I'll put some of the windows in. Everything's in a state of flux at the moment, so... There's our windows. And let's increase the size of the restaurant. I want to come along here. Oh, I can't afford it. We're at minus. We're at negative. Okay. By the time we've served more people, we should be alright. Let's uh, maybe think about an upstairs as well, but where's the best place to put an upstairs? Well, to put a, a way upstairs. Realistically, you want it as close to the middle as well, close to the entrance as possible. You could try and put it there, but it's going to jut out, which is not ideal. Another review: restaurant is alright, but decoration is good. But the menu could be improved. Yeah, once again, bashing on about that menu. Um, could I potentially put in? I could put in a single table here, but I don't like the idea of that. Got more people coming in as well. Let's go ahead and extend the wall. Extend the wall. We need to extend it right along here. And once we've got it built, it automatically goes, you know, with the internal walls and such. A long queue is forming. Yes. There we go. That's now internal. Demolish. Oh, people are very unhappy about that. Okay, there's our other toilet that I'll put in. But I'll put that in later on. Do you want to turn these round? Ideally, what I'd have is... That there. And then we can have... Basically them set up so it's like that. Yeah, that would be better. That would be better for us. See, I'm preemptively <laughs> shifting things. I was going to have another entrance around this side, but it looks like it's not going to happen with where these are laid out. But there you are. We're just waiting for that person to finish. Yep, yeah. then I'm going to move that in. And as you can see, we're just shifting all these. And oh, this one, this one will be different, won't it? This one. I might move it further over. But at least people are coming to sit down there, which is good. We'll uh, have some flowers, and we'll move that to. That's one of the worst. <laughs> places to have a some seating because it's right next to the toilet oh well of course we can't put it there we're gonna have to have the entrance to the toilet there somewhere right, let's just get rid of these for now let's just move them back um out of the way i'll build this toilet so at least we uh know where we stand really although we haven't got a urinal can't afford the sink it's a shame 70 for that but people are sitting it seems to be working. Um, I guess we can put a... I'm not going to put another window there because we might end up expanding there. Which is fair enough. And where's the best place for another... For this? I could place it... There and have it like a... Have it like a... Booth all the way around. Oh, that would be quite nice. Yeah, in that corner. Like that, maybe. Yeah, I like that. That's good. Happy with that. Uh, we're alright for plates. That's going right down. I don't know if I need... Yeah, if I would turn the potatoes down a little bit. Turn the delivery of the potatoes down. Okay, so 
We're not getting many people through, which is a concern. Why? Price. People unhappy with price. Okay, let's get let's go for turnover then. Uh, where are we at? Recipes. Let's put that down to 15. Actually, 16. 16. New review. Restaurant is alright, but the menu could be improved. Yeah, to be fair, we've been we've only been serving the same we've been serving the same thing constantly. So maybe get Maybe get some more. Uh, more things on the menu would be a good idea. It will require refrigeration. That shouldn't be a huge problem. Decor is yeah, it's lowering down, so I want to put some windows in. The problem is I'm placing these windows. But place one there. Place one there. And one there. Yeah, there we go. Good. And then I can shift these ones to increase the deco around the place. One there. One there. One there. Okay, job done. Still haven't got our fish tank. Uh, clean plate shortage. Yes, we have a clean plate shortage. Hopefully they're sorting that out. Yeah. And just to complete it, let's get a sink and a door. Want them either side? Yeah, that'd be a bit, a bit better, I think. Oh, uh, just put the china in the <laughs> middle. Of it. Okay, they'd be moved around. Good. So that's good seating. Let's get a oh, good restaurant, but the decoration is good. But the menu couldn't. Yeah, the menu's good. No, the menu garbage basically was what they're saying. But the uh, decor is good. Right. Let me get some. Shifting of these like that, and then I'm gonna put in a refrigerator. Let's have a quick look. Fridge at the back, and we'll get some chicken. So chicken. I don't know how many I can store. You can only store ten. So I'll just say yeah. Get me full. Get me. Uh, get me. Get me eight. For now, and that's on repeat. So people are gonna deliver chicken. And now we can have nuggets. Add to the menu. Oh, and then see that approval right across the board. I'm already going to increase that. Um, so what do they do? What are they doing to do this? They are bringing a full chicken over. They are cutting the chicken up and putting it in. Okay, fair enough. They're not uh, breading it. They're not... <laughs> yeah. Not doing anything. They're not tenderizing it. But anyway... Let's get that in and get some more plates. I think more plates is necessary. Job done. Right. And that should mean now we are getting more people through. Mm, no. Clean plate charge. We'll be getting that getting that sorted. Uh fryers are alright. So why why is there not many people coming in? Is it because I increased the the price of the chicken? Let's reduce the amount of chicken then. And ingredients. I'm going to reduce potatoes down a little bit and chicken down a little bit as well. How much is in the fridge? It doesn't actually tell us. Hmm. Just delivering what we need. Let's hope that that change in prices will get more people coming in. Because, oh, look at them. They're having lovely chicken. Brilliant. How are we doing for the deco overlay? Deco is fine. I would like very much something in here. I ideally a fish tank. But I don't know if that's gonna happen. Hygiene is a little bit dirty around here. And then an ingredient shortage of what? Chicken? I think we're out of chicken. We're out of chicken. I'm just gonna max it out then. I'm gonna max out chicken and I'm gonna get another fridge. There you go, two fridges and max out the chicken. I mean, the more... Oh, look at that. Look at all the spuds as well. We've got loads of spuds. Let's... Reduce that right down to four. And there's the queue. <laughs> the queue is long. Okay, I don't know what I can do about that queue. <laughs> it's a long queue. Right. I mean, I could buy more and expand more. 
I really wanted to. Um, a queue is forming. Yes, a queue is definitely forming. Okay, let's go ahead and buy more land. The problem with this is that every time you do this, let's get that, that pizza sign just halfway in my restaurant now. Um, wanted to go along here and increase the size of this. Oh, look at all the rubbish on the floor. Look at that. Oh, we got. A, oh dear. Oh, we got. We got a rat. Um, it's nice and clean. I, I don't think they've been reading the reviews. We need to hire another employee. Hire two employees. And get one person solely for cleaning. And we need a rat trap. Uh, is that in other? Yeah, rat trap. But it's fifty. Oh, there's two. There's two rats. I'm hoping cleaning up. Yeah, there you go. All hands to brooms. I'm hoping cleaning up will fix the problem. But why is it? It takes so long to clean up. Have you noticed that? It takes ages to clean. I think it just. I think it just got out of hand. That's all that was. It got out of hand, and now we've got people cleaning up and more more people serving. We should be all right. Hope. <laughs> um, I can't see any rats, unless they're hiding in the toilets. But there you are. Fridges are full. Yep, that's fine. I don't mind that. Um, we haven't got a a quarter or anything. As long as it's, as long as we're not over buying it and the food's going off, that would be even worse. Let's build along to there, and then I want to delete. This is where it's going to take a bit of imagination here, because I have to delete all of these walls. And then I'm going to have to shift a lot of this stuff around. So this I'm going to keep. But I'm going to move over to this corner. And the fridges are full. Yes, yes, we're aware. And I want to put it in that corner there. But sadly, there's too many people here. I mean, it's a... Not entirely a problem, is it? Having a full restaurant. We'll go in that corner there. One, two, three, four. Don't say we've got a bit of a, a gap there, but it is what it is. I'll do the same on the other side, actually. Uh, no, I won't. Not with the. Not with the amount of money I have. And fries can no longer keep up with demand. We're on twenty-one customers, so we're actually getting close to three stars. Hopefully, we will get another fryer in. You notice I haven't touched any of the like the construction, the wallpaper, or anything like that, or the flooring. Um, right, it is fryer. Fryer is a hundred. There's a fryer. Their, their approval rating goes down. Is it because they've been waiting so long? It might be. The problem is I can't really shift anything because there's loads of people eating. Curious. Um, I don't think I placed those in the corner. I think also now we can put our prices up just a little bit. Oh, look at that. Our income dropped to uh, minus 262. Hmm. I should say that um, our income didn't drop, but our money did. Our income's still okay. But look at that. As soon as we put our prices up, people are just walking straight past the restaurant. It's not getting full. Oh, hang on. Let's move this to there. Yeah, move this to here. Get all these shifted. I want to shift all of this over. I'm going to move these in here so nobody can use them. Actually, I might as well put them in that corner. Then people can use them. And there we go. Good. And once this is done, I'm going to shift this to that corner. Yeah, that's right. And then get rid of that one. 
And there we go. Right, that's what I've tried to accomplish <laughs> for a long time. And then I'll put the other two in. And then I'll lower the prices again. And it's all about throughput. Come on. Need one more of these. One more chair. Good. So we're going to have more potatoes. Obviously we've got ingredients shortage there. And we're going to put our prices back to the starting price. And hire another employee. Because I think that will hopefully be very close to like our goal. So have a waiting time lower than 30 seconds with 20 people in the restaurant. So was that employee was complaining they're working too hard? Did this, did that say? Uh, where's the alerts? Not enough fries to keep up on demand. Yeah, we are running low on frying power. Ah. Sadly, can't afford that. Employees complaining how about their high workload. Right, what I'll do is I'll get another fryer and I'll hire more employees. There's the other fryer. We also need a... Another employee. Probably a couple of employees. Because I definitely don't want more horribleness around. There's more employees. That's alright. Let's put some more windows in as well. So, window. Window. Lovely view of the overpass. Um, and then curtains, curtains, curtains. Oh, and there we go. We've triggered it. Have a waiting time lower than 30 seconds with 20 people in the restaurant. Brilliant. So that is the scenario complete. We could keep on playing on this. Many varieties maximum. Price is mediocre. Decor is mediocre. And hygiene, waiting time, and bladder is actually quite good. So overall, pretty good there. What I was going to do, uh, I was going to put in the stairwell here. So it would be the stairs there. And then have an upstairs part of the restaurant. But for this, I don't think it's really I don't think it's really worth it. Okay, I've learned a lot on that one. I think we'll leave it there then. And we'll probably call it done for this restaurant, because that is quite a decent restaurant. Well, I say decent. We do need to micromanage some stuff, specifically the cleaning. You can see it's yeah, a bit dirty in places. And we need to put in, and I do stress need, to put a fish tank in here and other decor. But it's functional. It's working, and that's all right. Okay, we're going to leave it there. Next episode, we will take a look at the next uh, the next restaurant and the next set of objectives. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed the video, and I guess for what it is, the series thus far. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.